Hi, my name is Domenico Locurto. I'm graduated in chemistry and I have been working in the plastic field for three decades. I am responsible for the plastic business at Safikar Khan. What I would like to do today is to give you my point of view about plastics. Well, it is good to know that synthetic plastics were made to solve problems. As a matter of fact, the first partially synthetic polymer was invented in 1869 by John Wesley Hyatt. He was inspired by a New York firm's offer of 10,000 US dollars for anyone who could provide a substitute for ivory. It was to fit the needs of the quick electrification process in the United States that in 1907 Leo Beckland invented the first fully synthetic polymer. It was meant to substitute shellac, a natural electric insulator. In this respect, synthetic polymers have been substituting natural materials like wood, metal, horn, which is indirectly helping the environment. A very famous picture appeared in 1955, used as cover of a life magazine, was celebrating the throwaway way living. So, plastic, a reliable, useful and durable material that can take hundreds of different shapes, it is a victim of our throw away attitude, which has been a common mindset in the last four decades. From 1960, the perception of plastics has changed, becoming a real concern, and plastics' reputation definitely fell during the 70s. We can put an infinite list of benefits for plastics, but nothing can cancel the negative image of our oceans and soils polluted by plastics and microplastics. Understood that plastics have a valuable sense in our lives, we need to go one step further. Once again, it is nature that provides the best solution, because even though our experience about polymers has less than 200 years of history, Nature started to make trials 3 billion years ago with bacteria. More than 50 types of bacteria in proper culture and nourishment can produce a variety of macromolecules that are natural polymers known as PHA, polyhydroxyalkanoids. Moreover, they can degrade both in aerobic and anaerobic conditions and also in the highest challenging environment for biodegradation, which is marine water. The polymer does not originate microplastics. It starts rotting and degrading, throwing out CO2 and water. Well, I believe that there are many reasons. It is a polymer that so far cannot be produced in continuous production plants, so in a real large scale. It is a specialty and more expensive than a commodity like PLA, polylactic acid. It is not yet so well known by most of the plastic transformers. It is called the sleeping giant and its developing potential is so impressive. In addition, we often associate the concept of biodegradable with something not durable. Typical applications are shopping bags, food packaging, cutlery, then by a compounding with mineral fillers, natural base colors, and all kinds of vegetal additives, PHA can achieve the desired final properties. A real breakthrough in the plastic market, and one of the best solutions that the industry can put in place to solve our concerns about plastic. First of all, the solution comes from changing our attitude. Everything can have a second life and plastics, when they are properly collected and recycled, can contribute to save non-renewable resources and to reduce CO2 equivalent gas emissions.